Hey YouTube, this is Josh with Staple Fit Life, and today we're gonna roll out our hips using a mobility ball. Um, you can use anything uh, as a mobility ball. Uh, you can get this, I got this off Amazon years ago. Um, no more than 10, 15 bucks, maybe even cheaper depending on the company you go with. Um, you can use a baseball, um, softball even. Um, I have here a lacrosse ball and also a pool ball. Um, you can do golf balls, tennis balls, they're a little softer, and um, depending on your pain tolerance, uh, tennis balls work well too, just to soften up the tissue. But if you want it to work it harder, you get a ball that's harder. But today I'm gonna use this one, this is my favorite. I tend to use this every day, especially at nighttime which I'll show you what I usually do with my hips uh, before, right before I go to bed. So let me move these out the way. We'll get started. So I usually place this so where your hip bone is, right on the side here, I'll actually go behind it. So what I'll do is, I'll find that part of my hip, right behind that hip bone, it's real tender. And then I'll just hold here for about two minutes, let my muscles relax, let that area especially relax, so the ball can just dig into that spot. And then from here, I'll just roll it out slowly, just to work that area. And I'll do this for about five to 10 minutes, right on this side. And it's gonna hurt, um, no doubt about it. So just make sure you're breathing to help you relax. That's the only way you're really gonna relax. Um, Cause there's gonna be some areas to where it might cause you to curse, whimper a little bit, but just hang in there and loosen that up, especially if you have tight hips. Uh, this will work wonders for you right before you go to bed and in the morning, man, your hips should feel nice and relaxed, not as tight. Um, and try to do this, you know, every other day. Um, a good thing you can do too is, instead of doing this on a hard surface, um, you can do this on your mattress on your bed. And it will take some pressure off because you're not going against a hard floor. All right, so the mattress will help you out with that and um, you'll be able to hold it a little longer, which I usually do um, right before bed. I'll do it in, uh, on the bed. So let's roll up the other side. Do the same thing, so I'll give it both sides some love while I'm demonstrating on this video. So you do the same thing, find that hip bone. Go right behind it. And again, it's gonna be nice and tender. So just hold it there for a little bit. Yeah, we, we tend to neglect our hips, especially when we work out. We neglect them by not stretching them, not rolling them usually not working them out. So this area gets really, really tight over time, which tends to cause your glutes to tighten up, tight IT bands. Then occasionally if you run a lot or cycle a lot, you get that runner's knee pain going down your, uh, your uh, side of your leg there. And occasional lower back pain will cause it too, and eventually tight hip flexors. So that was behind the hip bone. So now I'm gonna show you to get the area in front of your hip bone, like right around your hip flexor area, around that area. That, that um, around that area is very tender too, and it gets tight over time. So same thing, got your hip bone. And just roll right in front of it. There's gonna be a tender spot 
you can find it. When you do, just hold it. Yeah, right there. And just, and just sit on it. Let the ball break that up. And I have another video, I have, I have a, some short videos on our Instagram page, um, especially rolling these areas out with the barbell. And the cool thing about the barbell is that smooth side of the bar where you put the weights on, you use that to roll uh, your, um, your muscles out and your quads, hamstrings, and also on the side of your leg works well. And it's using the weight of the barbell so you get in there and break all that muscle tissue up again it's another painful one but if you do it consistently um it won't hurt as much and the uh the movement will be easier so that was the right side let's go to the left side here uh, yeah go left side here same thing Find that area right above the, right in front of the hip bone. Right there, that one's in there. Yeah. Have it sit there. Ooh. Slowly work this area. So if you're first time using a mobility ball, again, I suggest start with about two minutes. All right, maybe painful, you know, especially if you haven't used it before. And then continue to increase time as your body gets used to it. And again, the more you start using it and utilizing it in your uh, flexibility and mobility training, the better off you're gonna be. Um, I usually do it right after I get out of the shower, right before I go to bed, I'm on a mattress. The mattress will help uh, with the pain because, again, you're not rolling on a hard surface. Um, but that's the way with the mobility ball. If you have any questions about this ball, um, just let me know. Reach out to us. Help you out as best we can. Um, but yeah, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe with us. Have a stable fit life.